It's been more than a year since Nissan first took the covers off the Aria, a small, battery electric crossover. Well, Nissan on Tuesday finally confirmed that the Aria will land in showrooms next fall as a 2023 model. Yes, there's another year of waiting. Nissan also announced that the reservation process is now open but interested buyers should prepare for some sticker shock. <music> Nissan originally planned to offer the Aria with a starting price of around $40,000, but the base grade actually starts at $47,125, including a $1,175 destination charge. The base grade, known as the Aria Venture Plus, comes with an 87 kilowatt hour battery and a single electric motor spinning the front wheels. Peak output is 238 horsepower and the estimated range is 300 miles. If you want all wheel drive, you'll need to spring for the range topping Aria Platinum Plus grade which starts at $60,125, including destination. With this grade you get the same 87 kWh battery, but a dual-motor all-wheel drive system generating a peak 389 horsepower and 442 pounds-foot of torque, plus torque vectoring. Range in this grade is estimated at 265 miles. There are two additional grades in between, Evolve Plus and Premier, both of which feature the same powertrain as the Base Venture Plus grade. Nissan might still be able to deliver the Aria with a $40,000 starting price at a later date, as the vehicle has a smaller 63 kWh battery option in other markets. However, Nissan is yet to confirm this option for sale in the US. The Aria is designed to target vehicles like the Ford Mustang Mach-E, Tesla Model Y and Volkswagen ID.4. It's similar in size to those models, featuring a 182.9-inch overall length and 109.3-inch wheelbase. There are only two rows in the cabin, with enough space for five adults. The cabin is also loaded with tech. A 12.3-inch digital instrument cluster faces the driver and is joined by a 12.3-inch infotainment screen and a color head-up display. The Aria also features Apple CarPlay and Android Auto smartphone integration, as well as voice activation either via Nissan's own system or Amazon Alexa. The Aria will also come with several electronic driver assist features, including handy items like automatic emergency braking with pedestrian detection and blind spot and rear cross traffic warning. Also fitted to the Aria is Nissan's ProPilot 2.0 driver assist system, which can handle itself on highways but still requires the driver's attention for road changes or choosing when to pass slower moving vehicles. All of these features are included in the Base Venture Plus grade, along with 19-inch wheels, LED lights all around, a leather-wrapped steering wheel, driving mode selector, and ambient lighting. The Aria rides on Renault Nissan Mitsubishi Alliance's CMFF platform for electric cars, the same platform that underpins the recently revealed Renault Megane E-Tech Electric. The platform will underpin many more models from Nissan as the automaker is targeting 40% of its sales in the US to be EVs by 2030, and a significant portion of the remaining sales to be hybrids. Nissan will present the Aria at the 2021 Los Angeles Auto Show which starts Wednesday. For more coverage on this show, head to our dedicated hub. A brand new electric crossover SUV. The 2023 Nissan Aria has a few advantages over the Tesla Model Y. Since they are both electric crossovers, it makes sense to compare the two. What does the newbie do that's so much better than the grizzled veteran? 
the 2023 Nissan Ariya is far less expensive than the Tesla Model Y. Not that anyone would expect a Nissan to be more costly than a Tesla, but it's a clear advantage. Since the Model Y is in running away with the electric crossover segment, is it worth all the extra cash? Customers can't have the Tesla Model Y for less than $57,990. That's $12,040 more than the Aria's starting price, and only $960 less than the Aria's highest trim level. The 2023 Nissan Ariya recently received its starting price tag of $45,950. Though that is a bit expensive for a Nissan crossover, there's more than meets the eye. According to MOTOR1, Nissan previously stated that its EV would make less horsepower than the current base model. That's telling of an unannounced trim level, most likely to be less expensive than the current Venture Plus bottom offering. The difference in driving range is insignificant. One of the most important things when purchasing an electric vehicle is the driving range. A big problem for most potential buyers is the fear of running out of juice while out and about. Mainly because most EVs still take far too long to charge from a low percentage. The Nissan Ariya doesn't have a spectacular driving range, but it is almost as good as a Tesla Model Y for the price. The Tesla Model Y Long Range model has a driving range of 330 miles and costs $57,990. The base model 2023 Nissan Ariya Venture Plus starts at $45,950 and has a driving range of 300 miles. In other words, for an extra $12,040, you'll be able to drive only 30 additional miles per charge. Especially when most people charge their vehicle every night, those few extra miles aren't worth the price. The 2023 Nissan Ariya has more cargo space. The cargo space inside the Nissan Ariya gives owners 59.7 cubic feet to store their belongings. The Tesla Model Y has only 30.2 cubic feet, thanks to its extra row of seats. Although the Model Y can fit seven passengers to the Aria's five, did anyone ask for a three-row crossover? It turns out no, as plenty of reviewing outlets have the Model Y ranked far down on their lists of best electric SUVs and crossovers. The 2023 Nissan Ariya is brand new to the market, so everything in it is also new. That makes it far more exciting than the Tesla Model Y, available since March 2020. The Aria will not be delivered to customers until fall 2022, so we're a year away from seeing one out and about. We still don't know everything about it yet, but we hope more exciting news comes soon. Comparing two vehicles like this isn't easy, and both have their distinct advantages.